science, social studies, history, math, science, math, science, math, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, science, math, you have to like study every day. Didn't take art at all. Art wasn't necessarily a huge focus. The last time I had an art class was in fifth grade, which was two years ago. I'm kindergarten. I do art every day. I'm really good at art. I can paint um, puffer fish and cows. We do less art in second grade than kindergarten. I want to be a shoe designer, but art is a side activity. At my old school, it was very much about getting you ready for standardized tests and doing your homework and fitting you in this box, and I fully fell into that. So second grade and first grade, you kind of get to need to get serious, and kindergarten, you can pretty much be like your own self. I wish I got better, but it feels like as I've gotten older, my, uh, my art skills have kind of gone back to a second grade level. My parents were both doctors, and having a career was everything. I just think that um, I'm innately an artist. That part of me wasn't nurtured. It's sort of like this, um, this lost treasure. To be on this planet and not fully give of myself and my talents and my gifts. Um, I think that would be the saddest thing. So I got to go to this school that fully integrates art into their curriculum and just values it in general. My improvement in art has made me better at almost all of my other subjects because I'm much more interested in them. If I had done more art and focused more on that, I think I would have progressed so much more as a scientist. You can have the facts as a scientist, but without art, you can't put it together. You're stuck. You can't move anywhere. There's no progression in science. The world would still be flat. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Really? OK. Starting with stick figures? <laughs> My teacher told me we would have art class, so I was so excited for that. I, I was, like, going to um, cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs>